All right, I finally think I found a solution for the sissy bar. And this looks like the same manufacturer that I got that VN900 sissy bar for. Uh, this one looks in a better shape. It's still not in perfect shape, but um, considering it's 100 bucks, uh, most of the stuff that's uh, wrong with it is covered. I don't see any obvious dings in the uh, chrome. Like on the other one, at least they polished the insides and outsides a little bit. There are still a few discolorations in the chrome. It's probably not going to last forever, but I think it will um, do pretty good since I keep the bike inside. If I ran it outside all the time or got it wet, probably not so much. But basically, this one's wide enough to fit over that. I can get it over the fender. I can get it mounted in there. I'm going to have to build a couple of little brackets for it. But overall, I think the sissy bar is going to fit on here. So I'm going to take the saddlebags off, and then I'm going to figure out how to get this mounted up on here. And then I don't know if I'm going to keep the trunk or the, uh, um, I guess it's a trunk holder on here or not. I'm probably going to take that back out. I don't know if I like the look of that or not. Um. All right, I've taken the uh, saddlebags back off. I took the trunk holder off of the sissy bar uh, just for now. I don't think I like it very well, so I'm probably going to leave it off. I'll try to hand fit this in. Basically, it looks like I've got enough room to make this work. Now the bracket's not going to be perfect. I'm going to have to probably bend and bow some things to make it work, but I think overall it's going to work out fine. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my mounting brackets off the side for the uh, saddlebags I made and go ahead and uh, start to fabricate this in place. Okay, so I got it temporarily fitted in place. Basically I used the back bolt hole that was uh, on the bracket there, I was holding um, part of the uh, trunk lid on. Uh, I just zip tied it to the front for now. I've got to find a place to secure it in the front. But I think it's actually going to look pretty good sitting on there. So I'm going to go ahead and try to figure out a way to secure the front part of it there. I'm going to put the backrest on it, um, the actual pad, so uh, it looks a little bit better. I'm probably going to have to raise it up a little bit. I don't know if, uh, I know some of them I've seen with uh, major slant backs on. I don't know that I like them slanted back that far, but that one actually looks like it's pretty close to the way it is. It may need to come up just a little bit, but as you can see, the way the bracket's made, um, I'm either going to have to notch the bracket down at the bottom, which is going to, of course, destroy the chrome, uh, or start flaking the chrome. But I paid 100 bucks for the bar. It's far enough down there that it's hidden. I don't get the bike wet very much, so it'll probably still last a couple years. So. so after doing some examination here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this bracket. I'm going to uh, cut those two red notches out and drill the hole. So basically, I'm going to mount it to this bolt and this bolt. I'm notching out for these two grooves here. So on the inside, I've lined up my grooves and my bolt. I've done a couple measurements so I got it right. So I'm going to drill that out and basically mount this right to the side like it should be done. All right, so what I've got here, I just put a towel up here to keep from uh, scratching up my chrome as much as possible. I'm going to use the hole in the ladder. I'm going to line it up over top of that and I'm going to drill down through the hole. Then I'm going to use my angle grinder to grind out the notches. I'm going to run me a pilot hole just so I don't wobble too much. This doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but I want it close as possible. So I'm just going to drill a pilot hole in my chrome. a, a 3 8 inch bit that gives me a little room for play around the uh, hole there so that if I'm off a little bit it won't matter now if you want you can take a little 3 in 1 oil and put on there you got a dull bit bit if it starts to smoke that's pretty soft metal so I don't think I'll have a problem with it and it just punched right through it check your other side make sure you didn't uh, wobble it out. If you want, you can put some uh, masking tape or something over those holes. And it might help keep it from splitting for the most part. Again, this is just cheap pot metal from uh, China that's been chromed over anyhow. So in a couple years, it's probably gonna fall off or rust away anyhow. Make sure you use a rag that you're not gonna use anymore because it's gonna be full of metal shavings and you don't wanna wipe any parts off. 
So I'm just taking an angle grinder, make sure you put on some eye protection, sparks are gonna fly. I'm just gonna notch this out and this out so they'll fit over the uh, bracket that's already in there. It doesn't need to be clamped really hard because I'm not, uh, I got a sharp blade, it's not gonna really bounce much. And I'm gonna cut this up at a little bit of a triangle and then I can square it out later on. So after making a couple little adjustments there, I had to widen this up just a little bit more. I've now got my two bolts back here and that piece is nice and solid. So I'm gonna repeat the other side. Once I get that mounted, then we'll work on the spacing for the bar at the top. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit wider, so I'm gonna either gonna have to push these in and, and reshape this a little bit, or I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get the sissy bar to fit better, but um, we'll work on that next. All right, there, my second bar on now. So basically, got a nice even, spread uh, the width is about the same again they're from china so it's not perfectly measured uh, i've just got to figure out now whether it's going to be easier to flex this if i push it too hard um, it's probably going to crack the chrome so i can't push too hard without splitting the chrome um, so i'm gonna have to put the bar back in here and then see whether it's gonna be better to space the bar out with something or to actually try to bend something as you can see I'm not gonna use this luggage rack, probably. I might end up using it. Don't plan on using it. But I'm gonna use it for is I'm gonna use it for leverage. Cause you can see it's not gonna fit perfectly. Cause again, it's not designed for this bike. I'm gonna have to draw in these top pieces. And as I draw these in, I'm gonna draw them in evenly on both sides. I'm gonna make sure I'm lined up. And if I have to bend something, I can use this for leverage to push or pull this metal and try to keep it evenly. I'm gonna draw them in though, and try to pull these sides in and see what it looks like when I draw them in. I've just got a 10 millimeter wrench and a five millimeter Allen head. And again, I'm just gonna start drawing these in to where I think it's about even on both sides. And I'm gonna do both sides back and forth. Uh, this will be a little easier if you're not walking back and forth around the camera, but Basically, I just want them to be the same on both sides. If you want to get super picky, you could get a tape measure and tape measure them each time, but I'm just going to eyeball it. There's the luggage rack. Now the sissy bar itself sits on the inside of this. As you can see, I've got them drawn up tight to each other. The metal did not crack or bow, which is a good thing. Uh, this one I gotta tighten up a little bit more. I got a little bit of a gap here at the top. All right, so I started to put the sissy bar in. And as I do this, basically the, uh, 
the metal is just going to come back apart. So I'm going to take a C clamp and I'm going to put it on there. I got a, a, a towel in there so I don't uh, scuff up my chrome any more than possible. And basically, I'm just using that to take the pressure off. So when this, when I take this loose, it doesn't just spread apart on me. So I've got it out of the way. I'm going to take my bolts out. Then I'm going to slide my bar back in. Now I've already got the other side um, in. I don't have it tightened yet, so if I have to uh, loosen that side to get the bolts to reach, maybe what I need to do. And again, this is not really made to fit this bike, so you're going to have to put a little muscle into it to get it to go where you want it. Okay, so after shearing off the pot metal bolts that came with the uh, backrest on the sidebars, I went over to Lowe's and just got some stainless steel bolts and nuts. I'm gonna run them back through with that. I also picked up some grade fives just in case because I am drawing steel together. Um, but I think these um, stainless ones will work just fine. Did cheat a little bit. I got bolts that were a quarter of an inch longer than the ones I had. Because the other ones were barely making it through. I was having to use that clamp to actually squeeze the metal together. Uh, this way the bolt actually goes through all the way without me having to um, try to pinch the metal and hold it. And this will also allow me to draw these in evenly uh, instead of having to try to force one side and then force the other side in. Uh, basically like I did before but I put the sissy bar in the back. And if these work out fine, um, what I'll do is I'll go back over to those and get some that are a little bit smaller or the right size. All right, so that's it with the luggage rack on it. And luggage rack has got these little tabs on here. I'll probably take my grinder and knock those tabs off. Uh, made for a VN 1500. Once I get the saddlebags back on, I'll do a final shot of it so you can see what it looks like with the saddlebags on. But um, if you didn't know any better, uh, besides the bolts being a little bit too long back there now, again, I'll probably drop those down to a half inch shorter bolt um, or quarter inch shorter just so they fit in there better. I might not, I don't know, it doesn't bother me any. Um, but as far as looks and fit, a uh, little bit of customization, took about an hour and you know, 20 bucks worth of extra parts here and there. It's all good. 
Uh, one other thing I'm going to redo uh, while I'm down here is that's my rear camera. I've got to get it mounted up top. Uh, the saddlebag the other day, I noticed when I went for a ride, it actually blocked it with a saddlebag, so I do have to relocate my camera too while I'm at it. Uh, besides that, I'm debating on whether to put the um, rear crash bars back on. I got them back out of storage. I'm, I'm probably going to throw it back on here just to see what it looks like. Um, but I don't know whether the rear crash bar is going to look right with the uh, leather saddlebags on it or not. So I'm going to throw it on there and see what one looks like. All right, I rolled it around at a little different angle there where you can see it a little bit better. It's uh, kind of rainy out today, so not really taking it outside. But basically, um, there it is with the uh, sissy bar on the back. And the saddlebags are back on it. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, again, the uh, luggage rack, 50-50 on. Might keep it, might get rid of it. Nothing else, I'm going to cut those little tabs hanging off the bottom off. Um, but actually, with the sissy bar on, the saddlebags on it, uh, if you went to a store, I don't think you could tell that, you know, I, I modified it myself and made it work. Um, so overall, really happy with it. Again, that's a VN 1500 uh, sissy bar, saddleman saddlebags, uh, custom brackets. Had to bend the crap out of it and bow it to get it in place. The bolts that came with it um, broke off, basically. They were just pop metal bolts, so I went and bought some stainless bolts. Uh, drew it together evenly on both sides. So I made sure I was even on the back, so I'm even all the way down through there. Sissy bar, $100 sissy bar, I'll put a link to it on, uh, on the description below also.